Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, and it's time for another reaction. And today we're continuing with my catch up with the Hall Live English covers, or at least the covers featuring members of Hall Live English. Some of them feature other people as well. But um, yeah, in the last part, we did a lot of Halloween stuff. This one seems like it's going to have a fair, a fair bit of Christmas in it. And that's where we're starting. The first song that we have is the Promise Christmas medley, uh, which is obviously going to be a medley of Christmas songs performed by Hall Life Promise. And that sounds like a good time. So I'm looking forward to getting into this. Let's just go ahead and get it started. All right. Jingle bells. Good choice to start. I love hearing Iris' voice. I mean, she doesn't put out anywhere near as much music now. So it's always good whenever we get any. And Fawn has come a long way. Crony. I don't even remember these lyrics from the song. And I thought I'd do like the full version, but this must be like a really old school version. <laughs> The halls. Oh. This is just three of them. Yeah, Fauna cannot be the tree. Need a real tree. And they sell great together. Up on the house top, Boom and Bay. From the house top, bring dear paws. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down to the chimney with lots of toys. All for the little ones, Christmas joys. It's great to see something so wholesome from Mume. I feel like that's not what we get a lot of the time with her. I still remember that ant video. <laughs> I mean, for me, that was just an hour ago. I realize this is completely non-seasonal with when I'm recording it, when I'm uploading it. But I'm not going away for next Christmas. Screw that. I gotta say, I love the cute animation accompanying this video. Very nice. Aww. 
Well, that was great. That was, uh, it may, it may not be anywhere near Christmas, but <laughs> that's just the kind of thing to put you in a good mood. Very cute. Who did the art? Um, uh, I guess the person who did the MV. No, I thought, uh, the style looked kind of familiar to me, but I don't recognize the name. Fong Ban. Hmm. Yeah, great stuff there. I think we have more Christmas. Yeah, White Love from Fuomoko. White Love slash Speed. Huh. Let's hear it. Who's the original artist? Again, we got Miori Celesta helping out with these songs, which is interesting. She helped on one of Narissa's as well. It doesn't credit the original artist. I guess we have to click the link to find out. Oh, the artist is Speed. Okay, never mind. I thought that was part of the name of the song. <laughs> so it just says, I mean, I guess that wouldn't make sense. Like, why the hell would, for original song, they just put the name of the song? That'd be dumb. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Never heard of Speed. Okay. Full screen. I like this look for Fuwawa. She looks very pretty. Probably some of the best vocals technically from them I've heard on this one. Maybe it's just the art, but like, Fuwa even sounds like a bit more mature and put together on this song than others. Mokuko still kind of sounds like Mokuko.
They're beautiful vocals. This is the best I've heard them. I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily my favorite song I've heard from them, but the vocals, this is the best I've heard them. They really sound great. Yeah, I, I always say it, but these two, they came to Hall Life just ready to be idols. Like, they are there. It's just going to be a natural, natural fit for them. And uh, I'm all there for it. Uh, just checking. Out. Okay. Everything looks good. Um, okay, and now we got more of those two, plus the other three from their generation. This is Hall Life Advent with a cover of a song called Megatsune. And this is, oh, this is Baby Metal. I'm definitely aware of baby metal. I mean, uh, definitely one of the bigger Japanese bands out there. But I haven't really heard much from them beyond, like, Give Me Chocolate and maybe, like, one or other two songs. So I don't think I know this. But uh, I like I like baby metal sound. And uh, I'm eager to hear Advent take it on. So let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, we got the Katsune masks. Yeah, Marissa, she always brings it. Wow. <laughs> I think metal might be a good fit for Shiori. Like, that was cool. Oh, 
Well, the thing with baby metal is that it's got the the metal drums and some of the instrumentation, but it's still not that different from regular J-pop. That was cool. Very cool. I think, uh, yeah, those five, I think a good, good choice from them. Uh, that song, I, I think, I mean, honestly, weirdly, I, I think Biju probably is the least suited of the, suited of the five to that kind of music. But everyone else, I think it felt very natural on. Um, not that Biju was bad, mind you, but like... <laughs> Her voice is a bit more moe. I mean, you'd think Mocha go, but sometimes I think Fu Mocha worked on that pretty well. Like they sounded good. Like uh, I think they can do anything. <laughs> I don't know, but that was that was cool. That was great. Now we got more uh, Narissa Yuki Nohana. Um, who's this by? Misato Ono. Again, we got Celesta doing something. Um. Nakashima Mika. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I know this song. Let's hear it. Yuki no Hana. Oh. Is this another Narissa ballad? I mean Down by the River, that was so good. Yuki Nohana. Yeah. Yeah, Narissa is definitely one of the hollow mems where I really look forward to the slow songs. I think Bay is another one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think until I sat down for this catch up session, this video on the last one, I don't think I fully understood how good Narissa was. Like, she is next level. Cool. 
Yeah, I uh, was hesitant to say it in the last video, but uh, after this, it's pretty much undeniable. Narissa is the best vocalist in uh, Hot Live English, and one of the best in Hot Live, I would say. Like, uh, put her on a stage with Risu and Suisei and just see what happens. That needs to happen as soon as possible. Just, I, uh... That was incredible. Like I, I can't. There's nothing constructive I can even say about that, <laughs> other than that it was stunning. And now this, you might be surprised that I haven't seen this, but um, I held off. I did actually watch the New Year's thing, uh, but I, I when this came on, I, I was kind of disappointed the year before that I wasn't able to react to the first shuffle medley. Because it's such a fun thing. So when they were, it was clear that they were going to do another one, I, I stopped watching that stream and uh, held off. Um, and this one I could put in this video because, I mean, we got Gura and Iris uh, here. And it kind of spoils what we're getting, but I'm, not, I'm trying not to process it. So we'll, we'll process it in real time. I mean, I saw obviously that Gura is dressed as Chloe, but I don't think I processed much beyond that. And that's cute. I mean, <laughs> Shark as Orca. <laughs> Like that's that just seems fitting somehow, so uh, yeah, excited to hear whatever Chloe song Drew is going to be singing, but um, yeah, let's get into it. So this is twelve minutes. I didn't realize that part. Uh, wow. Yeah, how long was this one? It was only eight minutes. So we add four extra minutes to the medley. <laughs> okay. I mean, this probably could have been its own video. I 
けスブミヤオ。キュー。Wolf has been. Okay, and we got <laughs> Hato Taurus. Very nice. She looks kind of nice in Fubuki's outfit. Fubuki is going to be. Oh, okay. They just tried it. Nice. Fubuki doing howling. This is still probably technically Mio's best song. I like Night Loop a lot. She had a couple other good ones on the album, but. Howling! Oh! Cute! Okay, <laughs> what does Fuba Rap do? Alright, Kanata? Kanata has become- Okay, uh, well that's, um, pause. I, 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 I think she got a bit more than just the outfit there. That doesn't look right. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to think of this. Um, okay. It's kind of fun though that the angel has become demon. Also, probably my favorite Chopa song. <laughs> okay. Going for it. Oh, okay, nice. Love it. Also, probably my favorite polka song. And then it becomes Nene. Pone. The Beatles. She fills out Nene, uh, Polka's outfit a bit differently, too, gotta say. Kobo? Kobo is Bay! Play dice. Meanwhile, Kobo makes Bay look huge. <laughs> Gotta say. And she is, uh, Her clothes are such that you don't realize just how flat she is. <laughs> they don't really call attention to it. Very nice. The plus? Okay! That's unexpected! I love hearing the plus sing English. All 
I wonder what Kiara thought of this. <laughs> it's freaking adorable. I mean, I also got a level up from becoming Louie. Or maybe I am least bigger than I think she is. I guess it's kind of hard to tell in her standard outfit. She looks really cool in Louie's outfit, by the way, though. Like, it suits her somehow. Very nice. Okay, marine time? What do we got? Okay, well that's, uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, yeah, that's like Muna wearing Pecora's outfit last time. <laughs> Except they didn't make her wear extra clothes, which is almost a little bit surprising, because Ina's outfit is low-key <laughs> one of the most revealing. I wonder if Marine chose this just to wear this outfit. I know we heard her and Ina do have history. But they respect each other as artists. So, it's maybe not your stone. <laughs> and she wants the tentacles. <laughs> She's always been all about those tentacles. I, okay, yeah, yeah, this is something. And now we got Gura. Good choice. And Chloe's songs are all good. Cute. Oh, another look for your uh, no. Okay, yeah, also. Okay, you. Okay, okay, Koro. Very cute look for Okayu. And Corone is... Okayu, of course. Nice. And she looks good in Okayu's outfit, too. Love her dance. Oh.
Oh, uh, and together. Oh. 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 That's precious. Oh. Okay. So we are uh, okay. Yeah. This is cool. I mean, they're just singing a group song, though, so. And everyone together. I mean, this was to cap off the year that we had Fourth Fest, so I guess it's fitting that we didn't do this song. I mean, we got Iris and Reese's after, but we don't get to hear her sing an actual Reese's song. Well, that's a little disappointing, but this is great. Marine just ridiculous. Yeah, that was great. That was wonderful. And now we got something else that is really cool. This is a uh, the first ever song featuring all of them in the end. All, uh, what is it, 15 girls? Yeah. Um, Myth, Promise, and Advent all on the same song. It's called Minecraft, which is interesting. Not Minecraft, but Mindcraft. Craft, and the original song is by Garo. Um, don't think I know this song, but I'm just happy that they're all here. That's really cool. Let's hear it. All live English. Kiara. Very nice. Shiori! I actually like that they gave Mokuko a different partner on her part than Huala. Fanangura. Cool. The throw Kali in. The fauna is sounding really nice there. It's some of the best vocals I've heard from Fauna. Nice. Actually, Fuwawa and Mokuko are the furthest apart. That's cool. The, the book ends. Iris. Sounding amazing. And Marissa. Yeah, these two together. This is great. Then Ina. Mume. Just 
cute. <laughs> then we bring in the really cute, the cuties. They're all so good! I love this. Lala. And the art is very cool. I like all these outfits. There. They did get apart together. Bone Bros. Nice. What a great song. Excellent. Yeah, that was excellent. And it's on Bay's channel. <laughs> this is if she put this together right. This is what she did with that money that she won, I believe. Because again, I, I I watch the clips. I hear what's happening, even though I haven't <laughs> as much as I wanted to. I haven't been able to hear this until now, the actual song. But uh, yeah, that was incredible. That was great. And now we got uh, Fumoko with uh, Chloe. So this is cool. This is uh, the first, uh, like, I mean, we wouldn't call it a duet, but Fuomoko bringing someone else in for a cover. Not just doing it alone, but collaborating with one of their senpai. And it's Chloe, which is a good choice. One of my favorites in JP. Um, so this should sound good. And it's another baby metal song. Um, oh, it's Give Me Chocolate. Give Me Choco. Okay, so I know this song. Haven't heard it in a while, so I forget how it goes exactly, but I definitely have heard it. It's the baby metal song that I for sure know. <laughs> and I think it's a really good one, so uh, excited to hear these three sing it. This one's a bit more metal, in-your-face metal than the other baby metal song in face on. Oh yeah, I remember this.
Yeah, great stuff. Giving Shotley goes even harder than I remember. <laughs> so it's been years since I've heard the actual original version. Um, yeah, yeah, those three they did, they did a good job. That was cool, very cool. And now we got uh, Narissa and Biju. This is, I believe, the first uh, like duet that that uh, Narissa's put out. Everything to this point has either been. A group song, a full group song, or a solo. So we have a du duet with Biju. <laughs> so let's hear it. This is, and I don't think I know the song Oto Otomoroid. Who's this by? Vivi knows? Yeah, I don't think I've heard of this. Let's uh, let's hear it now. Going for an old school vibe with this uh, with this aspect ratio and art style. Mogu. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll ship it. And these two never really struck me as that shippy, though, so I'm a bit surprised. Is that it? That was so short. Why is it that short? I wanted more. That was adorable. Oh, this was for uh, Valentine's. <laughs> I guess that explains why they did a love song. Very cute. And uh, is this also Valentine's? Yes. This is... Suki Chuno from Honeyworks. Okay. Suki Chuno. All right. Okay. It's been a while since I've heard like really cute Bay, so this is good. I mean, Bay usually goes for a cooler vibe, so I like this.
You weirdo. Pretty catchy song, too. Though it's a cute song, she's still got a chance on this on this bridge to show off her vocals. Oh, her gen mates. Very cute. Yeah, I liked that a lot. Next, we got a. Uh, this is, I'm guessing, their Valentine's present, right? Yeah. Well, it was a day late, it looks like, but uh, this is uh, Let Me Be With You. Roundtable featuring Nino. Okay. Again, I do not know this song. Very cool song. I like the feel of it. Again, it kind of has a bit of an old school sound.
Yeah, that was good. I feel like there were a few too many re repetitions, though. <laughs> it kind of drug on a little bit, which, I mean, that has nothing to do with Fuomoko and how great they were. But uh, I think the song itself, even though it had, it had a cool vibe, cool beat, um, it, it didn't need to be four and a half minutes long. Let's just put it that way. Like, it, it got a bit repetitive by the end. <laughs> Still, I'm very impressed with these two. I think they sung beautifully. And uh, I mostly like the song. <laughs> and uh, now we got this. This is Happy Scary Halloween. Who's the original by? Am I going to be able to tell? Uh, probably. Right now it's probably this. Let tree trace her step. Oh, that's uh, Choco plugging her 3D life. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's this one is probably. Well, that's, these, these are their channels. Okay, no worry. Oh, no, this is probably the original. Oh, no, that's Shoko. Yeah, okay, I don't know <laughs> who originally sang Happy Scary Halloween, but it's Choco with uh, Callie, Kiara, and Ollie. So we got two for me in here. Um, and you know it's kind of odd? Like, if it was just Kelly and Ollie, like, that would be kind of perfect, I feel, for a Halloween song. Kiara isn't really Halloween, though. Phoenix, that doesn't really go with the Halloween vibe as much as Shinigami and Zombie, along with uh, Choco, her demon self. Um, I'm not sure who we could have brought in instead. Uh, so was this before or after unfortunate situation with Mel. Um, February, it might have been after. It was right around that time, I think. Um, I don't know, I think it was in January, actually, now that I think about it. So this was definitely after. But, um, yeah, I can't really think of who else would be more appropriate for a Halloween song. Like, I mean, I guess we'd go with another demon and put Toa or Marissa in. But I mean, Choco kind of already has the demon thing covered. So, I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is still... <laughs> that all said, this is a great group. I love these four. So let's hear them together singing Happy Scary Halloween. Well, it looks like this is a clip probably from her 3D Live. But it was uploaded as a singular video, so it is something I can react to here. Okay. Very nice. Ollie really just has a great energy when she performs. Okay. Wasn't expecting like a electronic breakdown here. Mm. 
Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I like this group together. <laughs> Very good. And, uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> we've actually got two versions of the same song coming up. This one's from Iris. I forget who all I've heard sing this, but I, I've heard at least a couple. I think one was Gura, and uh, who else in the end did it? I don't remember. But I know it's been at least two. Um, but yeah, now we got the Iris version. Excited for that. Because this doesn't really seem like the kind of song that she does usually. Also, it's been a while since we've had an Iris song. Um, like, I can't remember what... I'm actually curious. What's the last before this? What is the last Iris solo song? Um, come on, let's just, just go to her actual YouTube. <laughs> That's better than Dex for this, because apparently on Dex it mixes streams of videos. Um, oh yeah, it was six months ago with this cover. Wow, so she who was originally our V singer. She actually took six months. Oh, wait, that's not six, that's an eight. My eye, my glasses apparently need some uh, adjustment because that's, that's worse than I thought. That's an eight, eight months ago. So she took, uh, well, this was a month ago. So seven months between cover releases. And uh, it's been even longer if you look at her last original moment of my life. Um... Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think Iris is just adjusting to just being a normal streamer, being just an, another member of Promise. And I think that's fine for her. She doesn't need to be something different, which she was at the start, just all alone in her um, her special project hope. Uh, and it's probably better this way. I don't know. But, um, yeah, glad to see another song from her. Kyofu all back. I love the song. So, uh, let's just hear her sing it. <laughs> nice. Got the gyrus and bloom and gloom and then <laughs> crony copter and fauna. Think of who else sung this though. Was it Kiara? I think it was Kiara. I really like Kiara's version. I kind of remember like the the chickens. Wow. <laughs> I think all those were hotos. Yeah, lots of gyrus abuse. <laughs> I 
Such a fun song. <laughs> Hollow Tori seemed to be at war. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, Kiara did a version. There it is. Okay. You know what? I, I tend to go in order of how, that they came out, but I think I want to go from one version of that song to the next one. So let's hear the Biju version. And this seems like a very good uh, <laughs> song for Biju because it's kind of meme -y. So this is a perfect fit. Okay. Beboo. We got our pebbles. Bit of guest vocals. I like her vocals. I mean, even ignoring all the meme factor, like, she sounds good on this. In the cutting board, huh? <laughs> and Yorick and what is Doris's bird's name again? I forget. I like how they incorporate like their gen mates <laughs> stuff. <laughs> the Moai. <laughs> okay. Very cute. Yeah, that was a great fit for Bibu. And, uh, yeah, we'll finish on this Cali Killer. This is Atashi. And this is uh, by Shudo, I guess. Okay. I love the cover art. <laughs> Cali looking pretty good there. Let's hear it. Ali with, with twin tails, kind of powerful. So again, like with the with the auto song that she covered, this is song very much up Callie's alley. So it's got the right Callie vibe. Yeah, 
Bebo, very close to Bebo. <laughs> but slightly different. Just another, another really solid cover from her. Great stuff. Yeah, great stuff all around. I think that's a good one to end on. Um, that was back in February. Have we really not anything since then? Like, I swear I, I got all of the... They must have just slowed down after... Uh, or, well, we had Fest last month. So that's probably a big part of it. That like with the preparation for Fez, people weren't as focused on putting out covers. Oh, I guess the 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 Bibu, all back. That was uh, that was April. So uh, we at least had that more recently. Um, and yeah, just checking to make sure there aren't any ones I missed that have Ian girls in them. I mean, there are some that I still really want to see with the JP girls. Like, I gotta fit the Hachima covers in somewhere. Uh, I mean, I guess I could have technically pulled the Oh, She's Ian Gen Zero card, but I feel like that would just be <laughs> serving my own interest because she is my my uh, JP Oshi. <laughs> uh But, uh, yeah, yeah, that does look like the last one. I'm not seeing anything else that I missed. Um, I do want to eventually, I mean, I guess now I can, now that I'm posting more often, I can... Oh, oh, Hachima has two covers out. Um, I can dig deeper into the JP and ID covers maybe a little bit. Find a way to do that. I mean, there's so many that it's going to be hard to cover. I mean, so far I've only been doing EN. Um, and, like, uh, would I do it by song? Would I do it by member? I, I don't know. I, I'd have to figure Yeah, here's where Kelly's was. It was right after Iris. It really doesn't look like there's been anything since. I don't see any EN members in that. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Um... Yeah, I gotta find a way to do the the JP and ID girls for the covers, because I'm sure there's a lot of just brilliant stuff that I haven't seen yet. Um, so, I'll figure that out. I, uh, yeah. Um, maybe I will do it by song, because I know a lot of people, like, with this gift all back, I'm sure there's been, like, I've seen, I think, four versions now from Ian. I'm sure with the JP Girls, there's been like a dozen or so. So maybe I'll just do a full video on that and other songs that have just been heavily covered. Um, we'll see. But uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun, and now I'm caught up on covers, which feels pretty good. Um, until they put out more. Anyway, hope you guys liked the reaction. Let me know if you did, and see you 
in the next one.